Do we need the Gurundis? What the heck? Oh, sorry. We went to the Catechus Ice Caves after the Yadagon Lava Flows, right? Do you remember how cold that place was? Since we're going there today, maybe it's best if we wore wool undies or something. What in the world are you talking about? Last time we went to the Catechus Ice Caves without thick clothes, it was so cold that we nearly died. So I think this time around, we should wear heavy undies to protect ourselves. Are you serious? I don't know about you two, but there's no way I am going to do that. But it was so cold! You even had snot running from your nose. Snot? There is no way that is true! It's true. I totally saw it, snot nose Tiara. I won't forgive you for this! What about you, Fing? Did you see snot running from my nose? I don't remember. That's not fair, Fang. I know you don't want to get involved, but that doesn't mean you should pretend it didn't happen. So just as I thought, Aaron was mistaken. Please don't rub your shameful behavior on me. Don't rip any of your snot on me, either! Let's just buy the underwear already. I don't need any information today, but do you sell any wool underwear? Of course I do. Three pairs of wool underwear will cost you this much. Wow, she's ripping us off, as usual. Yeah, we've got no choice. I should probably buy a few more pairs for the people who will be joining us later. As usual? This is the first time I've met you, though. Don't worry about it. Here you go. Thank you for your patronage. I love my customers. You love my wallet, not me.
This place is already freezing, and we're just standing at the entrance. Oh, score! Someone must have dropped these capes on the floor. They haven't been dropped. It is obvious they were deliberately placed here. Same difference. I'm gonna carve out my fate through sheer willpower, you know? So taking these capes in the name of carving fate will be a piece of cake. What are you talking about? That logic makes no sense at all. If you feel like complaining, you don't need to wear one. That won't be necessary. I shall wear one. Let's go! My turn! Jeez, 
lot better off than last time, but this place is still freezing! <laughs> it's so cold. I was a lot happier before I walked into this cave. I've never seen such terrible goosebumps. I'm pretty sure I could use them a great ginger. I could really use a warm bowl of udon soup with lots of ginger right about now. Same here. I don't even want to eat it. I just want to swim in it. At least this wool underwear is keeping my ass warm. I know, right? These undies are amazing! Hey! Don't stick your hands down your pants! So warm. Gross! Keep those hands away from me! Hey, Tiara. You've been awfully quiet. Is something wrong? Please don't mind me. That measly voice. You were all... I've never had a runny nose before. But your nose is totally leaking, isn't it? Let me see your face. How rude of you. Stop making such false accusations. Then why are you looking down, huh? It's dangerous to walk around with your head down. You are so annoying. Stop wasting energy on such pointless remarks. Fine, slip and fall. See if I care.
Mission complete. All right, let's go. Not done yet. Next. My turn. Yes. Now's my chance. Let's do this. Yeah. Next. That was nothing.
that devious smirk off your face. Maybe if you weren't so stubborn about keeping your head down, you wouldn't have slipped and fell. <laughs> I wasn't keeping my head down. It is just a coincidence that I slipped on some ice. Yeah, yeah. After we get out of this cave, we should buy an ice pack for Tiara's butt. Right, Fang? We're all gonna need ice packs if we let our guard down. Here comes the boss. This is friggin' annoying. My turn. Stronger now. <laughs> I've become stronger. <laughs> the fury broke. Damn it, Aaron. Are you all right? <laughs> this enemy is. Definitely stronger than the last time we fought him. That's true, but it seems you pushed the fury too hard. You couldn't withstand the way you fight, Bang. It just doesn't have enough fighting spirit. You should be ashamed of yourself, you lousy fury. I think we will need those ice packs after all. Both of you, now is not the time for jokes. If the fury is broken, then so is the bond that links the fencer to their fairy. It's impossible for you to fight right now. Please run. I shall handle this fight. There's no way I'm running. You're already worn out. You may be unharmed, but Eren is grievously wounded. It is a fencer's duty to care for the well-being of their fairy. Are actually worried about me. You know, I've seen everything. Bang! Bang! There's no way I'm going down from that attack. Bang! Watch out! No! Aaron! You idiot! Get out of the way! I'll protect you this time, Fang! Is this... is this Aaron's power? I think so. Fang! Can you move? My body feels so light. <laughs> I feel like I can fly. Let's do this! Annoying. My turn. Let's do this. Not so 
one yet! Next! My turn! Now my chance! Let's do this! Not done yet! Next! I knew I was strong! I'm even stronger now! You did pretty good, Eren. I didn't know you had this new power. Well, I have a piece of the goddess's power. If I decide to get serious, I'm capable of all kinds of things. I can't believe you activated it at exactly the right time. I was so annoyed that Tiara was worried about me that I just powered up. Which means I am the reason you were able to power up at all. You both owe me a sizable life debt. What? You're the one who owes me! I saved you, remember? Yes, thanks to me. You said so yourself. I didn't literally say thanks to Tiara, you ingrate. You guys are so damn loud. You may say mean things to each other, but you're still helping each other grow. That's what being friends is all about. No matter your differences or how much you both argue, you help each other out in times of need, even if you don't want to. Okay, that's a really nice thing to say about us, but... Please stop warming your hands inside your pants! Tired and hungry. I'm craving something sweet, actually. Then your wish is granted. Whoa! Look at all these sweets! Did someone summon a dessert genie or what? Why, hello there. Sorry to bother you. Harley! Pops! Hmm? Why do you know my name? Ah, uh, well, um. Despite my looks, I'm actually interested in researching fairies, and, um, that's why I know who you are? I see. You're interested, huh? W what Oh, uh, just so we're clear, I'm not stalking you or anything. You're silly. Of course I don't think you're a stalker. <laughs> She's not the type to get stalkers. She spends her days locked inside a pigsty of a room doing research and eating junk food. Anyway, where did you get that cape? Oh, I found it earlier. I'm pretty grateful for that, actually. I left that cape, but it's all right. You can have it if you want. So, this cape was yours, huh? What were you doing at the Catechus Ice Caves, then? Oh, me? I was... Noisy in here. Did something happen? Oh, it's Harley and Old Man Bahas. Oh my, you know about me too? Hey, I'm not an old man. Fang, do you and Aaron know these people? This is gonna get complicated, so butt out. Go on, chew, chew. Chewing me away like a bothersome insect! <sighs> oh well, if you know who I am, that makes this easier. I'm Harley, a fairyologist. This is my fairy partner, Bahas. I'm sorry for waiting in your room like this to ambush you. I actually want to ask you for a favor. Yeah, sure. Anyway, is it cool if I eat these desserts? You don't mind, right? Thanks for the food! No fair, Aaron! That one's mine! 
It's so delicious! This custard slice has the perfect amount of whipped cream! The fruits are so fresh and the texture just melts in my mouth! Mm, um, this tiny cake thing is much tastier! Oh, the outside is perfectly cooked, and the inside is overflowing with thick, juicy chocolate! Mm -hmm. The gooiness of the chocolate mixed with the moist outside is totally amazing! Hey, you guys! You mustn't eat food that doesn't belong to you without permission! And where in the world did you learn to be food critics? That's great to hear. All that baking was worth it just to see your happy faces. Whenever I cook for Harley, she's never impressed. Unfortunately, I have no sense of taste. Hey, fancy lady, feel free to help yourself. I don't mind. Really? Well, if you insist... Just so you know, this tiny cake thing is mine. Mine, I say! Then I shall try some macaroons. How are they? Amazing! It tastes so delicious! As if my stomach has been reunited with an old friend! Well, sir, I'm quite picky about what goes in my dishes, and I go out of my way to not use harmful ingredients. Really? I didn't know that. What? Really? Jeez, you don't know what you're missing! Oh, oh man, it's so good! Yep, yep! I totally wouldn't mind repeating this moment over and over again! It's strange, though. Whatever happened to Dorfus' dinner party? Man, you're so rude! You think about food all the time? That's not what I mean! We met Harley after we met Lord Sherman at Dorfus' party. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tiara, have you received an invitation to a party from the, uh, Dorfa Corporation? No, I haven't received any invitation. I heard the party Dorfa was planning to throw got cancelled. What do you mean? Hmm. There's only one explanation I can think of. The exact moment we traveled back in time became the singularity. Because of that, the past events leading up to that singularity are beginning to change. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt, but is it alright if I explain what I'm doing here? Talking's free, so talk away. <laughs> Thanks. Apparently there's a fury at the Zawaza Plains, but it's being guarded by one of Dorfa's executives. The Zawaza Plains? She must be talking about Apollonius. You know about him, too? Jeez, you guys have good connections. Well, I've said pretty much everything I want to say. Let's all team up so we can collect that fury. Why do I have to do that? I'll pass. Thanks. We'll do it. We must cross this unavoidable path if we are going to revive the goddess. Eh, I knew this was gonna happen. I don't mind going to the Zawaza Plains, but what's your deal, Harley? You're not doing this just out of kindness, right? I'm a fencer, too. Dorfa looks like they're up to no good, so I'd rather see you kids collect the Furies. For the sake of world peace and all that. Of course, that's not entirely accurate, either. You guys were at the Catechus Ice Cave yesterday, right? Yeah? I have a device for measuring the energy output of Fairies, and it recently recorded an unprecedented amount of energy. I was interested in finding out what kind of fairy could produce such power, so I went searching for the one responsible. Is that? She's probably.
simply talking about when Fang and I returned to the past. By coincidence, I saw you guys coming just as I was planning to investigate inside the Catechus Ice Cave. I'd never seen your faces before, so my curiosity was piqued. Shortly after, my device recorded another demonstration of enormous fairy energy coming from inside the cave. Your device must have recorded the moment Aaron's power forced the Broken Fury to evolve. Evolve, huh? That's very interesting. The reading wasn't as big as the one from the other day, but it was still impressive. I got even more curious about what kind of fairy could produce such energy, so I followed after you guys. And that led me here, to this inn. Also, I left those capes behind because I saw you guys weren't wearing much. It was my way of helping you out a little. Oh, that was nice of you. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, does that mean you were stalking us the whole time? <sighs> I'd say that's typical Harley behavior, but I'm a little scared. She's just interested in me, right? <laughs> Come here, little fairy. I don't bite. For some reason, her eyes seem way scarier than they did before! All jokes aside, I just want to study that fairy's power up close. Honestly, I don't really care about world peace or doing what's right. Would you mind if someone like me tagged along with you? Not at all. Um, how should I put this? I'm already used to it. If Bang okays it, I guess it's settled. Thanks. I'm happy to hear that. It's refreshing to see enthusiastic eaters for a change. I'll make sure to feed you guys plenty during our journey. For sure. I hope we get along, Pops. We need to be careful if we're gonna go up against Dorfa. Anyway, what's your fairy's name, Fang? Huh? It'd be bad if something happened to you. I'd better thoroughly examine that pretty body of yours. Hey! Get your dirty hands off me! You're very interesting, Aaron. You're gonna have to show me how deep this rabbit hole goes. Certainly taking a turn for the bazaar. She's only gonna experiment on Aaron, though. We still get to enjoy Bahas's free food. My condolences, Aaron.
this over with. I want to get back to the inn and eat Bajas' home-cooked food. Sure thing. What do you feel like eating? Let's see. Maybe a juicy steak? Oh, no. An omelet sounds good, too. Ha! Child's play. Choose something that's actually challenging to cook. I would like a mushroom and cheese risotto. A ah, risotto? I can't fill up on that watery gruel. Right, Aaron? I'm not picky. Hey, I'm sitting down in the dumps. Aren't you excited for food? I can't really get an energetic response in this kind of situation. Yep, your body temperature is perfectly normal. Your muscles and skeletal structure are also typical of humanoid fairies. Can you tell me again how it felt when your broken fury evolved? Was there a ringing in your ear? Or a loud gong sound? Did you get aroused? Were you praying at the time? Feel any side effects? Also, you said you only have fragments of your missing memories. Can you tell me what triggered getting those fragments back? I... I am extremely uncomfortable. Don't touch me without permission. Harley has been at this for a while. I'm starting to feel sorry for Aaron. my temporary disciple after I got tired of saving him all the time. What are you talking about? He was always saving your butt from trouble. Um, who is this Lord Sherman? If you haven't met him yet, but Lord Sherman is an extremely handsome fencer brimming with love and justice. He's sensitive, kind, and oh so strong. I'll whisper sweet songs and his fingers make the most beautiful music. He's the perfect man, a white knight valiantly riding his noble steed. <sighs> That's stupid. You're stupid. I do not fully understand, but he sounds like he's the complete opposite of Fang. That's right. He's nothing like Fang. Yeah, yeah, jeez. How many times am I gonna have to listen to this crap?
treasure? Interesting. My turn.
treasure? Since Apollonius is waiting just up ahead, I want to hold a quick strategy meeting and discuss what's going to happen next. What do you mean? I'm going to try and recruit Apollonius to my team. That's a fun idea, but why do you want to do that? I've decided that I'm not going to kill my enemies anymore. I never want to kill another person ever again. Fane, are you doing this for Emily? He'll fall to his knees once he sees how awesome I am. And then, I'll just force him to hand over the Fury. After that, I'm gonna make him join my team, so he can help us collect the Furies. We'll be that much closer to reviving the Goddess, and he won't have to die. It's like killing two birds with one stone. Um, isn't that a little impossible? The notion that you're somehow awesome is patently ludicrous. All right, strategy meeting adjourned. It's go time. Hey, hey, think this through. Apollonius! Who goes there? Why do you know my name? Are you supposed to be fencers? Whoa, hold it. Time out. I don't want to fight you. If you just hand over your fury like a good boy, I'm willing to make you my top disciple. Oh man, he's really doing it. Working for me is way better than working for a stuffy corporation like Dorfa. You won't have to wake up early in the morning, and no one will hassle you if you feel like sleeping all day either. You'll have to kill some monsters here and there, but other than that, it's a pretty cushy gig. Bajas here will even feed you. What do you think? Great offer, huh? Only Fang would think that is a great offer. I have never been more disrespected in my entire life. Whoa, hey! Were you listening to me? I don't want to fight you. I've devoted my life to swordsmanship, to cleanse my soul of all earthly desires. 
and walk the path toward true enlightenment. There is no greater disrespect than being compared to a savage, ignorant human like you. Why are you being so selfish? Swords and battling aren't that important. There are people who will cry if you die, you know? That does not concern me. My sword is my only family. You... Until I've avenged my brother's death, my journey will never end. Don't play dumb! You have a little sister! Don't you care about Emily's feelings? How do you know about... No. I do not have a little sister. I severed those ties the day I poured my soul into this blade. You idiot! I'll show you just how empty your selfish words really are! Let's go, Kiwi! My turn! Stronger now. <laughs> I've become stronger. Looks like I got stronger. Yeah, I cannot believe I lost. Now do you understand that you're wrong? So how about it? Are you gonna join Fang's side now? Kill me. Huh? Kill me. Defeat means death to a warrior. I would rather die than receive mercy from an opponent. Stop being so stubborn! Dying won't make anyone happy! Don't you have someone you need to stay alive to protect? Enough! Kill me. Your commitment is admirable. I shall redeem your soul. Stop! <clears throat> Apollonius! Hey! Get a hold of yourself! You can't die! Damn it! Why did this happen? This isn't gonna change anything! Save your tears. He was a threat to this world from the very beginning. Yeah, I once thought that about him too. But I can't let this happen. I just can't! You are too naive. Once a human is tainted by evil, they will never change. They are nothing more than defects. It is my duty to eradicate those defects and purify the world. Such arrogance! Who are you to appoint yourself judge, jury, and executioner in the name of justice? Soon you will understand. This world cries out for my help. Why? The Lord Sherman I know was never this obsessed with power. What do you know about me? I've never seen you before in my life. I will use my power to judge this world accordingly. And if you try to stop me, 
I will show you no mercy. Surely you must realize that. What happened to him? Apollonius! He's still breathing! Let me see. You're right. He's still breathing, but he's losing blood fast. He doesn't have much time left. Em Emily... Isn't there any way we can save him? He'll succumb to his wounds before we can get him to a clinic. But I recall hearing about a fairy flower in the Rudoke Blast Furnace that can heal any wound instantaneously. Got it. Just sit tight, Apollonius. The fairy flower has no effect on the dead. You had best run while he's still breathing. Yeah. Harley, you and Baja stay with Apollonius. Me, Aaron, and Tiara will head over there. Got it?
this! Careful. The ground here is unstable. Understood. Ah! Whoa there! Jeez, I can't take my eyes off you even for a second. You saved me. Let's hurry. Time's running out. You are actually serious about this. I must say, this is rather surprising. I never took you for someone who would work this hard to save anyone's life, much less an enemy's. I fought Apollonius before in my timeline, and killed him. At the time, I told myself that I only did what I had to do. But then, I met Apollonius' little sister afterward. She told me she was on a journey to avenge her brother's death. Apollonius was whispering her name earlier. I'm not going to let anyone die anymore. Death isn't just a tragedy, it's a chain reaction that screws up everyone around it. So that is what happened. Plus, if I let Apollonius die here, I won't be able to save anyone else. I'll just repeat the same fate as before. You know, Aaron said that Sherman person was brimming with love and justice. But his actions would suggest otherwise. He was much kinder before we were sent to the past. He wasn't arrogant at all. The moment we were sent back in time became the singularity, right? So everything that's supposed to happen is starting to change. Maybe that's what's affecting Sherman. That means I have a duty to snap him out of his dumbass behavior. <sighs> I know I act tough. I'm actually a really nice guy. Is that something a nice person would say unprompted? Look! It's the fairy flower! Alright, let's grab it and hurry back! <laughs> this is friggin' annoying! My turn!
Alright, now I can bring the fairy flower to... Oh, crap! The flower's all withered! That monstrous poison must have dried it up! What do I do? I can't save Apollonius with this! Damn it! What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> Emily's gonna lose her brother again. Wait, Emily. The amulet that Emily gave me, if I remember right. This is bad. The bleeding isn't stopping. His wound just barely missed his heart. He'd already be dead if it wasn't for that. We should be grateful that Fang charged at his assailant before he could complete his attack. But if we don't do something about this wound... Hey! We're back! Did we make it in time? Thank goodness. He's still breathing, but barely. Tilt his head. We need him to drink this. Oh, you're awake now. I hope you're feeling grateful, Apollonius. From now on, your life belongs to me. So don't go losing it without my permission. I even made sure to write my name on it. Before I lost consciousness, I heard you were going to the Rudoke Blast Furnace. Seems that wasn't a hallucination. No need to thank us. Just serve us well. The future depends on it. Fight me. No matter how many times you spare my life, I will not falter from this course. Betraying Dorfa and allying with my enemies is out of the question. As long as I still draw breath, I will point my sword at you. You stubborn idiot! Your words are meaningless. Now fight! Let's do this! New data! Brace yourself. Take this! You don't hurt! My turn! Let's do this! New data! Brace yourself. Take this! My turn! Let's do this! New data! Brace yourself. Take this! Huh? My turn! Yeah! Uh. Uh. Let's do this! Uh. Done yet. <laughs> Next! Awesome. Care to see my true power? What a waste of time! You're a real pain in the ass for attacking me twice. It seems I've lost again. Let's run. We gotta get out of here before Apollonius gets up. I didn't mortally wound him, so he'll recover soon enough. Let us flee before we are forced to fight yet another battle. Next time I see you, I'll definitely make you join my party. Better watch your back till then. Are you trying to sound threatening? Let's go. <sighs> what an amusing young man. Still, a loss is a loss. Only cowards stay alive after suffering defeat. Emily. I hope you find happiness one day.